Most of us live life feeling immortal, feeling like we'll never die. But little do we know, human nature shows us otherwise. As Charles Simmons once said, sickness is the vengeance of nature for the violation of her laws. My name is Leah Carmel Pinchas, and I am going to share with you the story of the disease that changed my life forever. This is the story of the heartbeat on my thigh. Growing up in Fresh Meadows, Queens, life was just too beautiful. I live in a private house with six siblings and two of the best parents anybody could possibly ask for. Tradition was always alive in our family, which meant that the food that we ate had to be extra traditional. I can't lie, the food was great, however, it was just too heavy. It's very common in our heritage because we believe in living life to the fullest. It's hard to eat clean when our holiday celebrations are so abundant that excessive drinking and heavy foods are like a weekly ritual. As my life went on, my lifestyle wasn't changing. I always felt heavy and tired, which really impacted things at school. I wasn't doing as good as I should have, which caused me to get held back in my junior year of high school. Trying to get back on my feet, I began to study harder because I realized that I was behind, and being behind was a downgrade to me. In this process, I had very little time to get food from home, so I began to binge on vending machine snacks excessively. Time to time, I would get extra fancy and hit the lunchroom, but that stuff was just as processed. I wasn't getting enough nutrition, and this was mentally damaging me. One morning, I woke up to get ready for school. I decided to put on my pantyhose because, hello, it was October already. I lost my balance and slipped intensely onto the ground. My mother ran into my room and tried to lift this big baby up. As she was lifting me, she accidentally felt a lump on my thigh. I didn't even realize until she pointed it out, but it was whatever. I ignored it. A couple months passed. I felt fine, until I realized that the bomb started to grow, pulsate, and heat up time to time. I tried to avoid the doctor appointments, but deep down inside, I knew something was wrong with me, and so my mother took me to get checked out. I was diagnosed with an aggressive tumor, also known as sarcoma, which was an uncommon group of cancer cells which grew within the bone and connective tissues, such as muscle and fat. Now, I'm not trying to turn this into a sob story or anything, but imagine you're 16 years young and you get diagnosed with something like this. What would you think to yourself? The first thing I asked myself was, what caused something so terrible down on me? When my doctor explained to me that my body was under serious inflammation, I asked him why. He said to me, it could be anything. But I strongly believed that it was my diet that was slowly killing me. I had no choice at this point. I needed to remove this as soon as possible. It was already growing into my muscle. If I waited any longer, it would have spread out through my whole body. I would have been legless. October 28, 2015, it was officially removed. Even though there was a 30% chance of it coming back, the good news was, I was safe from chemotherapy. After this experience, I decided to change my lifestyle, and this changed my life. No more hygienated oils, milk products, or processed foods in our household. I can honestly say that I couldn't be happier than I am now, knowing that my health is no longer at risk. This experience was traumatic and still has a toll on me till this very day, but it was my wake-up call. Sometimes, life teaches you the hard way so you can live easy. My body is my temple, therefore I will keep it clean.